Hey what's up guys Johnny here back with another Shadowgun Legends video. Today we will look at the new bundle in the shop the Relic Stalker and we'll talk about the new event also Shadowhunter. Let's start with the bundle guys. First of all another full set of legendary cosmetic, a mask, a buddy, a sword back and a belt. Now careful guys, this time it's not a full body set that will cover your armor. It's actually a front piece that you will see on top of your body armor. And it's actually a belt like the ninja high date belt. Like you will still see your legs and your boots. Cool thing about this bundle is the sword. I think, I mean we had a bunch of cool cosmetic bags including surfboard. We had guitar bags, a lion coat, but this time we got a sword. And I like the fact that it's legendary rarity because it's cool to have all gold in peace. So let's look at it in the game. Now I did use a redshift paint bucket on it. So it looks pretty cool because it's got like gold-ish uh, parts on the belt, on the front, even on the mask, like it's a, a beard or something. Uh, I don't know if you call it teeth or whatever. The bad things though is if you don't like your hairstyle and you know I don't like my character, well, it's just a mask and it's just on your face. So you still see the sideburns, the, the blonde sideburns, and you still see the freaking ugly haircut. So I wish we had access to the massage area like really soon, like yesterday or months ago, because that sucks for real. I'm sick and tired of my character and I, I can pretty much only wear full, like full hats, full helmets. But the rest is cool. I mean, it's got the like the blue-ish highlights and uh, you see the greenish on the belt, like next to the left arm. Also the sword, now, I mean, I got my uh, my weapon, but the sword also got the, the lights, the blue lights. Uh, it's the same blue that you have on the right shoulder. So yeah, it looks cool like that, but I need to show you guys. Like now you really see the sword, right? Like the weapon's not on it, but I wanna show you because you know in Shadowgun Legends, usually you will wear your best, like your best armor. It happens that my best legs are the Invictus legs. I got max crit, I got super high assault rifle uh, clip. So it's like it's my favorite legs, but I cannot wear it because look at this crap. Like honestly, it's so big that the belt is like under it. Okay, like the knife on the right leg, it's is going through the the pants. And then on the left side, it's a real mess, guys, and it really sucks. So usually what I like in cosmetics is that when they cover your armor set. Now here's two examples. We got the scavenger legs. When I equip my scavenger legs, they don't show my Invictus pants, right? Like you don't see the super big bulky. And same thing for Emperor legs. I mean, if I equip that, it's just a new look because of that. I cannot wear my best legs. I look like a freaking clown. It's it's ridiculous. So because of that, I have to go and wear my second best legs, even though it's not the ones I would wear. But if I want to wear the new cosmetic set, I have to change my, my legs, right? I guess it would be the same with the body. It's a epic front, but underneath you see your actual piece of body armor. So if I would go and equip my Invictus body, boom. Like, where's the cosmetic? You only see the shoulders. And then it's the same for the gloves. So, I mean, if your favorite body armor does not look good with the new cosmetic set, well, you can't really wear it because you just don't see it. Now, same thing for the gloves. Like, the body, like the new cosmetic does not cover the, the arms. So, you will see your actual gloves. So, it's a cool thing or it's a bad thing depending on what armor you wear. Like if your armor look good with the new cosmetic, it's cool. Like Basilisk looks good. You can see the full, like you can see the full cosmetic stuff. So overall, it's a cool, it's a cool new set. But again, like the the negative points is, at least you know it's not a full body cosmetic. It's just new cosmetics. Okay. Now it comes with a lightning storm paint bucket. So. Uh, white, blue, and gold is actually really nice. And uh, yeah, just because of my stupid haircut, probably I'm not going to wear that for more than a day. But I wanted to show you guys. 
Now let's talk about the Shadow Hunter event. It's all about skills, ribbons, and medals. They say they triple the fame for the skill medals and ribbons. So we'll go and claim the missions at Pedro and Willow. So the first missions are pretty straightforward. I don't know if there's more than four because I didn't play today, but let me know in the comments. So we start with earn any skill medal and then earn three skill ribbons. Now, if you don't know which one to go for, you should go on your medals page and see which ones you're like close to get. Like for me, it's pretty easy. I just need five grenade ribbons and I will get one more grenade medal. But you can go and look for the, like, I don't know, sentry gun, stunner, uh, survival kit. If you see the number of ribbons needed for a medal, usually it's 25. So just do the mats and see if you're close to a medal. Like if you just want to get the, the mission real quick. So for me, I'm five away. So I did go ahead and equip the grenades and uh, I'll go and spam grenades in bronze arena or something. It shouldn't be too long. Now the rewards, they will give you a bit of fame and the jungle ranger hat, which is uh, pretty unique. Then you'll have the gamma ray paint, which is also very cool. So hunt begins. They want you to kill 50 enemies with skills. So once again, I'll go bronze arena. I'll spam AM bomb and grenades and that shouldn't be too long. Then hunt down Regis or one of his brothers. So I guess you need to kill Regis or another Regis lookalike. So just go Silver Arena, Gold Arena, and uh, Voltaic Fist Dungeon and try it. I guess you need to get the last hit for it to count. So yeah, that's not too bad. So I'll go play some Bronze Arena. I'll spam some uh, some skills. Try to get many kills, like 50 and more. But mostly grenades. I'll have to probably spam grenades all day for a few days to get uh, 25 kills time four and a half. Uh, it's about 100 plus, right? So yeah, it's not too bad, but for some of you guys, it may be, uh, will be a long grind, but it's not that bad. It's like AM bomb, you'll get many kills with that. Bronze arena is a bunch of uh, common mobs and pretty easy to kill. So good luck, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, hit the like if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please, for more Shadowgun Legends videos. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. One.